Hi everyone, Matteo here, sales engineer at Snowflake. In this video, I'm excited to share one of my latest demos, Frosty Library, a personal book summary assistant. But before we dive into how it works, let me share how this idea came to me. In my primary school days, teachers would often assign book summaries, uh, a task that I found, uh, I would say, to be uh, less than enjoyable. Uh, did you feel the same way? Now, if any of my former teachers are watching this video, please don't take it personally. Uh, let's be honest, when we were kids, nobody enjoyed homework. But back to the track. When Snowflake announced the public preview of Cortex LLM functions, I saw the perfect chance to build something that could have made my childhood struggles a bit easier. Something capable of doing homework on my behalf. So let's get started with setting up Frosty Library. These are the five simple steps you need to follow. Step one, let's start downloading all the necessary files from the GitHub repository. In the step two, you can copy paste in a snow site worksheet the setup script that you just downloaded and execute it. Step three is all about creating a new Streamlit app in your Snowflake account, defining the app title, application location, and the virtual warehouse that you want to execute it on. Step four is all about passing the code from the GitHub file into your new app. And finally, with the step five, don't forget to upload the Frosty library logo for that extra touch in the application. Now, which are the features that you will see in action in this demo? Firstly, Streamlit in Snowflake, which provides the user interface. Secondly, leveraging user-defined functions, UDF, with the external access integration, Frosty library can fetch books from the internet. Lastly, the summarize function is one of the Cortex LLM features. It's the core, of course, of the summary generation. It's time to use Frosty Library. So you can easily import uh, books from the internet with just a few clicks. Uh, simply write down the book title, the author, and paste the URL of where your book in TXT format is located. In my case, I decided to import the strange case of Dr. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. So now the book is uploaded successfully. What does it mean? It means that uh, I extracted it from this URL and I pushed it to my Frosty library staging table. A table composed by just one column where I'm storing in a variant object uh, the book author, the title and the content extracted from the URL. So it's still the full book, not the summary yet. That's why we go back to the Frosty library and we move to the second page, the generate book summary. Here I have a select box with the three books that I currently have in my staging area, uh, Dorian Gray, The Great Gatsby and The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And this is the one I just imported and the one that I want to generate a summary now. And by clicking the Generate Summary button, I will apply the Summarize Cortex LLM functions to the book I just imported. Now, the summary has been generated. By reading it, it looks like it makes sense. We didn't just generate the summary. What we did was actually to also store it in my Summary Archive tables. So you will see that here now I have three books summarized, also the one that I just imported. This is because going back to the Frosty library UI, what I can do is also to get book summary from the archive. So rather than rerunning the summary function, I can just pick up one of the summary that I already generated from here. And there you have it, Frosty library, your personal book summary assistant powered by Snowflake Cortex LLM functions, stream it in Snowflake, and external access integration. Think about this technology not just for books, but for all sorts of contents, from uh, technical documentation uh, to financial reports. Now, Cortex LLM functions uh, include also translate, extract answer, complete, and sentiment analysis that were not part of this demo. So, do you want to give a try? Well, 
Thanks for watching and happy summarizing with Frosty Library.